Hello, my name is Isabel Ross, and I worked in Dr. Meredith's lab at the University of Arizona, studying green infrastructure impacts on carbon cycling, evaluating changes in soil microbial composition and function. Green infrastructure, which I will be calling GI, includes rainwater harvesting systems and affects multiple soil properties, including moisture. This project aims to discover how GI changes microbial communities in soil, including microbial function, composition, and decomposition. To conduct this study, we created a GI system in Tucson, Arizona. We created four different basins, each receiving different quantities of water. We then used the steps outlined in the T-bag index to calculate decomposition rates. We also collected soil samples and extracted DNA from those samples. We then sequenced 16S rRNA, and we mapped that 16S rRNA marker gene to microbial functions using a database called Fabrotax. These were our results. We can see that microbial community composition does differ between each of our treatments. And here we see that microbial community function also differs between the treatments. And several of these functions, including methanogenesis and chemoheterotrophy, are really important to the carbon cycle. Here we can see that each of our treatments have a higher decomposition rate than the control. And we see the opposite for carbon stabilization. Each treatment has a lower carbon stabilization factor than the control. Overall, although decomposition does create more nutrients available for plants that can absorb carbon, it also releases greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. This could be important when considering climate change. Thank you for your time. And thank you to Dr. Buzzard and Dr. Meredith for helping me with this project.